Well, what, if they did a discipline report, would it go after the discipline was was uh, doled out to the boy? Would the discipline report go in their file? It had to be. It had to be. Yeah. Did the discipline report include what the punishment was? Yes. Written on the report. Um, not on the report, but uh, there was a record of the boy being disciplined and. Uh, Well, the the rating board spoke for itself when it come to uh, if he got a spanking, he got his regular grade to come up and write, you know. And if he didn't get a spanking, he would go down a grade. Is that right? No, no, no. That spanking took care of that behavior report. I see. But if we were to look in the file of one of the boys that was there back during the time that you were at the school. If we open up the file, included in the file would be discipline reports about what kind of discipline problem the boy had been and what his punishment was. That was my understanding that, that that was to be done. Well, did you ever see any of those discipline reports? I never did go into those files. Did you ever see a discipline report? Did I see a discipline report for boy misbehaving? Yes, sir. I always, if I was a supervisor and the uh, house leader turned that report in to me, if there's any, if a spanking was done, the director had to be the one to make the decision. The director had to be the one to make the decision he about? He made the decision whether he got a spanking or not. Okay. All right. Let me jump back for a minute. When you were at uh, the, the home in Mariana, where did the boys come from? What parts of the state of Florida would bring a boy to Mariana? Before the Okeechobee school was open from all over Florida. And when did Okeechobee open? Well, it was in 58 uh, or 59 maybe, because we had men to be transferred from our school to Okeechobee. When you say men, faculty types of people, people on the staff? Well, the superintendent, assistant superintendent, I mean, Mr. Salt was the first superintendent at the Okeechobee School, S-U-L-T. And uh, then uh, Frank Zitch was a assistant down there. Uh, Howard Guilford was the uh, director of the uh, color department down there. Emmett Davis was a uh, director of the, I mean, uh, yeah, he was a uh, director of the uh, white department. And um, Mr. Quattlebaum was the uh, maintenance director. <laughs> That's all I can remember about them now. But, uh, Once Okeechobee came into existence, how would the decision be made, if you know, as to whether boys would be sent to Okeechobee or to Mariana? That depended on the area they were from. It was a geographic decision? Yeah. When you were at the school, uh, I know you said you were, once you became a supervisor, you had to be available 24 hours a day, is that right? That's right. Uh, did you have normal work hours? Yes. What were your normal work hours? Uh, well, you, the day job at 8 to... We had the boys come to the cottage at 5. And uh, then, of course, uh, I don't remember what time. I think each cottage went to the dining room uh, I don't remember how that worked, but uh, when when uh, when you were there, would the boys go to school one day and work the next day? Yes. What would their hours be that they would go to school? Same hours as the work hours. And what were the work hours? Eight to whatever time they get off, four thirty or whatever time they turn them loose at the cruise to get to the cottage. And did each boy have a work assignment? Yes. They, they would stick with a work assignment for a defined period of time, whether it be in the kitchen or the laundry or yes. performing some function of the school?
were there jobs that were uh, considered better jobs to have by the boys? Well, that depended on the boys. I mean, uh, they decided, and I believe it was a diagnostic center, uh, you know, what the boy was capable of, whatever job he was capable of doing, you know. Uh, the uh, Some was assigned to the band. Uh, Well, like maintenance, and, uh, different jobs of, uh, like the dairy. The band uh, was the band a job. The band wasn't a job, but uh, that's they were assigned to the band, like they were assigned to a crew, and uh, then the, they'd be in the band like the day and tomorrow they'd be in school. Okay. Uh, let me shift gears for just a minute and let's talk about from when you first started working there through the late 60s, uh, is it true that the school was segregated? Is it true that they were segregated? Yes, yes sir. Uh, and when did that change? Do you remember? No, but I, I think uh, uh, maybe in the... I'm not sure if it was in the 70s, but it seemed like it was in the 70s. Okay. Uh, do you remember why it changed? Do I know why it changed? Yes, sir. I never did ask. Okay. Well, during the years that it was segregated, uh, was the division between the white, and I'm going to use the term colored because I believe that's the term that was used then. Is that correct? Yeah. They called it the colored side and the white side. Is that right? Uh, were they the the two sides separated for every function? I can see your eyes darting. Before they during the years of segregation, yeah, uh, were the were the colored students and the white they students? They were mixed and into the cottages and crews and everything. I don't think you're following my question. Before, what? When they when they had segregation, when they had a colored side and a white side, oh, was everybody housed separately? The colored students. Oh, yes, and they had a certain campus for the colored and one for the white. They had a separate school. Separate school. They have a separate dining facility. Yes. Did they have the same rules that they had on the white side? Same oh, rules. Same rules to live by. I don't by. know about that. Did you? Uh, uh, have interaction with the staff from the colored side? Did you did you talk to the uh, the teachers and the cottage fathers from the colored side? Well, it, you know, then there might be a time whenever you do meet up with them and talk with them. But uh, were the were the boys on the white side permitted to have contact with the boys on the colored side? I don't. Uh, I would, I would imagine they did run into each other from time to time, but uh, as far as I know, uh, I just never did have to, uh, when I was a supervisor, uh, say anything about, you know, white boys talking with the colored boys or anything like that. But uh, Well, were the...